Time now for sports on 104.7 The Cave. Here's Ned Reynolds. Mikey intern Ned Reynolds in the studio on a Wednesday morning. So, of course, after winning the Super Bowl this year, Chad Henney announced that he was done. And man, what a career. (laughs) He was awesome when we needed him. Anything is possible. But it looks like the Kansas City Chiefs have got a really good backup quarterback coming to town now. In my opinion, they have. I think it's a great move. Blaine Gabbert, who had a terrific career at University of Missouri, and he's had 12 years in the NFL, so plenty of experience. The last three of those years, he's been Tom Brady's backup. Well, now he's going to be a backup to Patrick Mahomes. Signs on, or at least we assume he's going to be. He still has a quarterback uh, competition to go through with Shane Bouchelle and Chris Olatikin in the Chiefs camp. The Alonican kid's very interesting story because he's South Dakota State University. That is his last college. He had been at, I believe, Central Florida. Pretty good athlete. Pretty good numbers with him. But over and above all that, the Chiefs do get a veteran back up in Gabbert. And a guy who, well, come on, he was a starter. He started like 48 games, something of that nature. The last time he really started any contest was back with the Tennessee Titans in 2018. But that really hasn't been all that long ago. And Gabbert has a lot of experience to fall back on. So, yeah, I think it's a really good move for Kansas City. Beach, man, he's always going after those sleeper players. And all of a sudden you're like, wait, that makes sense. I love him. And Beach, we trust. All right. um, Earlier this week on Monday, uh, we talked about the passing of a local area uh, legend basketball coach in uh, Bill Thomas. Uh, Have the funeral arrangements been set? What's the deal? Finally were uh, yesterday. They were finalized, and the services will be at 1 o'clock on Saturday afternoon at Gorman Sharp over on Seminole Avenue. Uh, It will be a visitation from 1 to 2.30 and then a celebration of life from 2.30 until probably 3.30, probably about an hour. That's what they usually run. But Coach Thomas, one of the most influential figures in athletics in the Ozarks, native to Buffalo, played for Buffalo, played for Missouri State, and actually with Southwest Missouri State on back-to-back national championship teams in 52 and 53, coached the teams to really unparalleled heights. Never did win a national championship in D2, but came close four times. And Coach Thomas, who was such an instrumental figure, uh, passed away at the age of 91 last weekend. So the funeral services are Saturday with the visitation at 1 and the services at 2.30 at Gorman Sharp. Last but not least, who won the Stanley Cup playoffs last night? Well, the first round for a number of these teams, and the New York Rangers come away with the win. The Tampa Bay Lightning go to the Toronto and knock off the Toronto Maple Leafs. Here's one that's a bit of a surprise. The Seattle, or Las Vegas, I should say, Golden Jets, are usually pretty good at home where the Winnipeg Jets went in there and the Golden Knights were whipped by Winnipeg in their game. And then the Avalanche, who are the defending Stanley Cup champions, lose their opening game at home to the Seattle Kraken. So all of that figuring into the mix, and it's got a long way to go. So round two of the Missouri State Bears versus Mizzou Tigers baseball throwdown is happening. This time, it happened in Columbia. Is that right? And it went to Mizzou again. So Mizzou sweeps the two-game series, two games to none. Only this time, the game was a whole lot different from what it was last week in Springfield which was a 10-1 to win for Missouri. This time, Missouri wins it 7-6, to and they did it with two runs in the last of the ninth inning. Bears pitching simply couldn't come together and hold anything. Had a 6-5 to lead going into the ninth, walked a couple of batters, hit a batter, sacrificed fly on a base hit, and that won the game for Mizzou 7-6. Uh, again, it's a non-conference game that's not in the Missouri Valley Conference. Missouri playing in the big, or in the SEC, I should say, and the Bears in the Valley. So it's a non-conference game, but it does look good on your resume. And now this is two losses to a Power 5 team. All right, Bears come back into action. They will play and open a, a weekend. And it's not, that's a false analogy because it isn't weekend. It's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday against Belmont. <clears throat> Belmont's a new team in the Missouri Valley from Nashville. Pretty good baseball program. They'll be here for a Thursday morning game. That's tomorrow morning. A Friday morning game and a Saturday morning game. And by morning, I'm talking about 11 a.m. That's because they have to intersperse their schedule with the Springfield Cardinals. But nonetheless, Bears look to rebound. They're 19-16 and 16 on the year. 
St. Louis Cardinals uh, still continue to kind of flutter a little bit, don't they? Lost to the Arizona Diamondbacks, 8-7, and there was an incident in the ball game that you really very rarely ever see. The Diamondbacks scored six runs in the fourth inning. It was keyed on a pitch that bounced to home plate, and the batter golfed it for a double down to right center field. Well, you can do that, of course. And it brought home two runs, broke a tie, and kind of keyed the Diamondback, uh, Diamondbacks rally. Uh, Arizona did get a couple of key solo home runs later to propel the win, but 8-7 to seven the final score. Cardinals scored three runs in the last of the ninth inning, had a chance, but just couldn't get that big run, tying run, nor winning run home. Cardinals are snake bit at the moment. They're 7-11 and 11 on the year. Do play today, a noontime game up at Bush Stadium. reason that's a noontime game is because the Cardinals get on the plane and fly to Seattle for the weekend, so it gives them kind of a day of rest. And they need it, and uh, definitely need to right the ship. Speaking of which, at least their record isn't as bad as the Kansas City Royals, 4-14 four and 14 now. And they're really struggling. They are really struggling badly, 12-2. to two. They lose to the Texas Rangers. Marcus Simeon had a big night, just hitting the ball all over the lot. Rangers are a pretty good team. I really think the Royals are as well, but they simply can't get things together. Pitching isn't holding up at all. Offense has been very spotty. 12-2 Texas Rangers win. Knocked off the Kansas City Royals. Things somewhere along the line are going to get better. Here in town, Springfield Cardinals did get a win 12-5. They knocked off the Midland Rockhounds, and they will play. The Cardinals will play today. Noontime game, Adam Wainwright is scheduled to get the start for the Springfield Cardinals. It's a rehab, of course. I'm going to guess maybe four innings, four or five mm, innings, somewhere nice. around there. Kids are going to love it. The reason he is pitching today, and the Cardinals are playing today, is because this is the spot that Wainwright is going to take in the big team's lineup and, and pitching rotation when he gets back. So they're thinking he'll get back right after this one rehab start. And just make sure everything's working as it should. Um, last but not least, NBA playoffs. Boston Celtics are now two games to none up on the Atlanta Hawks. Hardly a surprise. Celtics won last night. Cleveland Cavaliers tied their series with the New York Knicks. Ran the Knicks out. Winston Garland's son, Darius Garland, had a big night. 34 points. He's a really good player. Boy, I wish he could have played here like his dad did, but (laughs) he did not. Anyway, Darius with the Cleveland Cavaliers led the charge, and the Cavs beat the New York Knicks, and that series is now tied at a game apiece. And the Phoenix Suns, uh, who were upset by the Los Angeles Clippers in their first game, do come back and get a win. That series tied at a game apiece. Long way to go in the NBA as well. Ned, you have a wonderful Wednesday, and uh, get out and enjoy some baseball today. If you can get out of work, that's what I'd be doing, Ned. I'll see you tomorrow.